when, when I saw the opening line, I was like, "Ooh, that, that feels like too many points. And then they bet it further up. Colorado going to Orlando to play UCF. Opened at 11 and a half. UCF favored. Now UCF favored by 13 and a half as we pick this game, Ari. That's a lot of points. It is. Um, it is. People got absolutely rocked if they bet Baylor on Saturday. And no. Because it's one thing to give up a Hail Mary. And I, we didn't say this on the show, but Baylor's prevent last play of the game defense is called victory cigar. Did you see that? I know. If I were Dave Aranda, I would never have admitted that publicly. I can't Why on earth would you that. say that out loud? Um, And then on top of it, the way that the game ended, like you want to talk about being like a better and living through that. If you were on Baylor money line in that game, um, or oh, hell, even that's ba brutal. Baylor plus two, but I, I, not to, I just wanted to make sure we talked about it on the show. Cause I thought that was really funny. Um, it was hysterical. Yeah. I mean, we both have Travis Hunter as the number one on our uh, Heisman ballots. He's the best football player in the country. Who who catches 130 yards worth of passes and then makes the most important defensive play in the game? There's nobody else who can do that. There's nobody else even ca close to capable of that. So absolutely, Travis Hunter makes a huge difference. I don't know what to think about this game because I I think Colorado is going to be able to score on UCF. Now there is a there is a world I can envision where it's a steady diet of KJ Jefferson and RJ Harvey over and over again, averaging seven yards a carry until they hit a 65 yard pop pass on you, like over and over and over again. But on the other side, I can still see Colorado scoring enough to keep this interesting. Yeah. 13 and a half is a lot of points, but like KJ Jefferson was put on this earth to play against the defense like this. Like if you have KJ <laughs> Jefferson on your team, like if you're watching film as Colorado's defensive staff, and they're like, well, if UCF decides to turn KJ Jefferson into a battering ram, like, what are we going to do? I think that the answer to that question is you're probably just going to lose. So I, I don't know if I'd want to lay two touchdowns here, but I have a really hard time envisioning a world where Colorado is going to be able to stop UCF. It might be long sustained drives, but I don't know how they're going to stop. Them. It's UCF stopping Colorado is my question. And yeah, I think UCF's pass rush is is probably be is better than Baylor's. But is it as good as Nebraska's? I don't know. Yeah, because I don't know the thing, if they have anybody who can cover Hunter either. Like, well, or they the, all their I, I don't think they can cover those receivers. I think they have to get Shadour on the ground. I think that's the only the only way you stop that. And so, I don't know. But let me just read some stats to you. <laughs> to, yeah, please. To further, to further your point about UCF running the ball in this game, RJ Harvey is averaging seven point six yards a carry. Penny Boone is averaging 6.6 .6 yards a carry. Miles Montgomery, the, the third back, is averaging seven yards a carry. Uh, KJ Jefferson's only averaging 4.7 yards a carry because sacks get taken out as well. But good God, they can just steamroll if they want. Yeah, and this is, and I'm sure you're on high alert of this, uh, but if UCF goes out there and takes care of business and wins by one, you have a really excited UCF football team that's pretty undefeated. And I like to say it like that, pretty undefeated going, going into Gainesville, Gainesville floor. <laughs> so like yeah. I'm on high alert for that too. I think it's too many points, Andy. Um, my hope for Colorado is that they, they do something to slow this rushing attack down. But I do think that like big chunk plays in the passing game are pretty out there for the taking for them as well. Yeah, I'm going to take Colorado here. I, I don't know if Colorado is going to win this game, but if you're going to give me almost two touchdowns, I will I will take the Buffaloes in this one. Yeah, I'm with you.